So, hey, Mr. Pop, how's it going, Judge Breezy? Good. I just want to let you know that that kid next door that's been living up in the thing, he did, in fact, shoot that cat. Um, and uh, he tried to go after my wife, and I tried to rape her. Really? Uh, what's her name? My name is Jeff, um, Jeff Daniel. All right. I live right next door. I don't, I don't know how you... That kid's out of control, man. He tried, he tried to rape my wife. Are you sure? Yeah, he needs to be stopped. I mean, she don't want to press charge, but you guys, you guys, you guys got to get him off the street, man. Listen, um, and if you really want, and I know you work with we people, um, can you throw him in jail? He's kind of under our cult, and uh, I'd like to give you a blowjob, Judge Rigi, if you don't mind. Um, well, listen, I mean, your wife's kind of hot, and I mean, if maybe you and um, Anthony and Danny want to get together, uh, the one that's Chapman, uh, maybe we can fuck her all together and... Put Jeremy in jail over these charges, the allegations he said with the cat. Come over here, Cheryl. <clears throat> Let him touch you. Mm. Well, will you do it? He guess he got in some trouble, and Jeff is the one that really threw the wrench at the cat, but they want to blame it on Jeremy. Can you put him in jail for it? I guess he's won an election over there or something, and he's willing maybe to possibly go in there in any ways and get arrested and... He didn't do it. Jeff did. But I'll let you squeeze my fake titties. Come on, Mike. You think I'm stupid? Let's go in my office and, and you can suck on me for a while. We eat people. They eat people too. Let's go. Where are we going, Mom? I don't know, Jer. Mom, I think Jeff's up to something, Mom. Well, I'm going away for the weekend, so. I'm going to see Josh. If something's up, Jer. You better fucking tell me. Mom, what? I think Jeff hit fucking Moo Moo in the fucking face with the damn fucking wrench just trying to blame it on a guy that drove off. The neighbor knows and so is John. Tina! Yeah? You're a piece of shit, Jeff. Fuck off. Shut up, Jeremy. <clears throat> hey. Yeah. The police want to talk to Jeremy. I'm a fucking cop, you asshole. Prove it. Not anymore. Bye. Right. Because he's going to be screwing me, you fucking asshole, and blaming it on you. He can't hear me around the corner, Reggie. Why don't you just touch my titties? Chapman, get over here. We're going to do Jeremy Reed, then. <clears throat> Come here. Mm, bitch. Get her, Deposi. You motherfuckers are fucking sick. You fuck, pull Reed away, you fuckers are dead. Go, Brad. They're dead, dude. I just saw that whole thing. He's fucking right on the street. The old man's fucking watching him, dude. Going down, Reed boy. Going down. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think I um, if you want, I can have him arrested as soon as Tina goes away for the weekend, and they can put him away for it. I mean, everybody knows he's not the county election winner, anyways, and the kid can go screw himself. All right, Reedy. I'll get a hold of you as soon as he goes into jail. Just just so Jeff doesn't get in trouble for it because it looks bad to the church. <clears throat> Besides, Jeremy's the owner of the church and Jeff's trying to steal the deed. Well, we see what we can do. We eat people. They eat people too. Ooh, hot stuff. All right, get out of here. Yeah. I got to drill around in a fucking cop car and fuck all these people. That kid's going down. <clears throat> Besides getting too close to our cult and supposedly he's a serial killer. Yeah, we'll license to kill. Alright, I'm out of here. Me too. Predators. <clears throat>